Behind this beauty are risks and dangers. We're not a city of hills, we're a city of hillsides. And all these valleys were carved down by glacial meltwater. That creates steep slopes, landslides, and hillside instability. Uh, makes you uneasy just thinking about that, <laughs> hearing that, but it's true. That's a clip from a documentary airing tonight right here on WCPO 9 called Living with Landslides. And joining us now to talk about it is filmmaker Laurie Quinlevin. So thank you so much for joining us. We heard it there in the clip. This is uh, Cincinnati, a city of hillsides. And with that comes some erosion and some issues. Yeah. yeah, we are actually a landslide hazard area, one of the top four in the country. And most people just don't have any clue that we have that big of a problem here. Absolutely. And the cost of this is obviously exponential. There's the human cost and there's the financial cost as well. Yeah, the human cost, you know, if you're a homeowner and you hit, you get stuck with a landslide, there's no homeowner's insurance that will cover it. So mm. you are stuck. And usually the repair costs well over $100,000. So it could be worth more than your home to fix a landslide. But all of us, just as taxpayers, are fixing roads and hillsides that we all pay for. And the obvious example is Columbia Parkway, which everybody kind of noticed over the last few years. So we do go into the Columbia Parkway fix and talk about that, but you'll meet many homeowners from all around the region who are dealing with the landslides that we never hear about, but we want people to know because it is such a big issue. Absolutely, especially if it's happening to your home or if you take an area like Columbia Parkway every day on the way into work, as so many of our viewers do. So we want to talk to you about the response to this issue. What have you found there? Well, you know, the city, people at the city have known about it and have been dealing with it. But what happens is the funding to fix and maintain retaining walls and all that, it gets buried in the capital budget. And I know from serving on city council, you often don't know all the details. And so the funding to actually prepare and maintain things to prevent landslides has been going down and down and down. So we're hoping council members will pay attention to that and maybe do something. And also there are a few laws that should be changed to help prevent landslides from happening more often. So hopefully this uh, documentary will educate everybody, including some elected officials, so that they can take some steps that will help us all. Absolutely. So critical to the foundation of our city, both literally and figuratively. Yeah. And Laura Quinlevin, we thank you so much for joining us here today. We look forward to seeing that tonight. Don't miss Living with Landslides. That is airing at 9 right here on WCPO 9.